G'day, it's Mark here at Pompey Life, and we have a really exciting new product here, the Smart Lithium Power Station. Two versions, 200 amp hours, and today in this vehicle, the 105 amp hour version. Uh, we have our kitchen system already in here. We've set this up as a totally independent unit. We haven't changed the vehicle's wiring. There's no DC-DC charger at this point. The customer may choose to upgrade in the future with that. But what we have here is a portable lithium power station with some very, very, very cool features. If we have a look down here, we can see it has USB-C and USB. It's got uh, proper SIG socket, normal SIG socket here. But here's a little bit of the, the cool stuff. It's got two 50 amp hour Andersons and it has a jumbo 175 amp hour Anderson. That's correct, 175 amp hour Anderson. We can actually uh, discharge up to 150 amps at one point out of this. So if we have a large inverter, we can connect it to this with the 175 amp hour Anderson. We're about to connect two 50 amp hour Andersons for two different reasons. The unit also comes with uh, a, a very, very sophisticated BMS giving you plenty of information, more than we've seen before. So we can see the battery is currently at 23% at 13.13 volts, and we can see if it's going to be charging or discharging. It's currently uh, not doing anything. And we can see the individual cell health here. We can see the number of cycles, etc. So that is the app that's available. The links are on our website. And we, for safety, the discharge switch is currently off, and the USB switch is off. And that's because I don't want to cause any issues whatsoever when I start to plug things in. There could be a small risk of sparking. So here's my kitchen block. I've, we've changed the Vanessa kitchen to an Anderson plug. It's far more robust than the traditional SIG socket. I'm just going to plug this in now. So that's plugged in. And the way we're going to charge it, because we're not charging it when the car is driving along at this point, we may add that later with the Victor and Orion TR Smart 30 amp hour charger with smart engine detection. That's a subject for another video. Uh, but we're going to plug into here the Victron 10 amp charger. It's a 105 amp hour battery. So if I plug this in when it's at zero, it would take about 10 hours to add 100 amps to it. And we've just been watching that performance now with the customer. And that's looking good. So I'm gonna plug that in here. Oops. It's a really positive connection. That's not gonna fall out. And now I can plug this in we will see this Victron come on in a minute and we'll be able to see on the Victron actually firstly here we can see it is now charging at 10 amps or I should say that actually it goes into test mode at first let's just pull up the Victron app so there's the there's the charger let's load it up it's in test mode we can also see there were lights flashing on and off here and if I go into the graph it's just moved out of test mode actually we'll say not now we don't change the pin number uh, it's gone from test mode into bulk charging mode. So it's in bulk here as well. It's in lithium ion mode. And if I go over to the history, histograph, we can see how many amps it's going in at one time. And of course, you see on the large screen here, 13.48 volts at 10 amps. I'm still not discharging from this battery. So with the discharge switch out, the USB switch out, it will still accept input charge but no output charge at this point. So the fridge and the kitchen and so on are not on. So what I can do now is press discharge, press USB, the display comes on, the USB goes red, and we're ready to charge. Let's get, we've got USB-C and USB, I'm gonna put my USB-C in here and now charge up the customer's phone. So that's now in charge mode. And now we can turn our, our fridge system on. So I'm going to from the back here. So I normally have to be at the back of the car, but I'll just turn on off. So that's now coming on. Fridge is coming on. And we should see in the BMS now a net value. So this was at 10 amps. This is now going to diminish down to about 6 amps. Once it settles, once the compressor's fired up, it should deplete to about 6 amps. That's a net value. I'll, if I'm only discharging, I'll see it on the discharge side. If I'm charging, I'll see on the charge side, whichever was first, once I add the other, the opposite, it'll give me a net value. That's because there's not two whole sets of separate positive and negatives for the charge and discharge. It's just a single set. So there we go. Fairly cool. It is uh, mounting on our special board here to the multivan or California seat rail system. If you have a transporter with a timber floor, we could obviously mount it to that using the M6 nut into the timber floor. 
There's also a 200 amp hour version, just search 200AH on the website or 200A, it will come up and you can have a 7, 10 or 15 amp charger with this setup. So depending on how quickly you want to charge, but with 100 amps, a 10 amp charger, 10 hours at the caravan park or at home, we'll see this go from zero back to 100% in that 10 hours, assuming there's no other loads on the battery. So in a 12 hour caravan park stay, you'll be fully recharged. Uh, we can add solar, not a problem. The 200 watt solar blanket will connect in through that Anderson socket. If you are running out of sockets there, you can obviously grab just a quick Y socket from J-Car or similar. We have them here as well. Uh, and that solar blanket can be on the front windscreen. The cable's long enough to come to the back here. Uh, or we can add that DC-DC charger as a third method of charging it. In this case, at this point, we have not interfered with the vehicle electrics whatsoever. It is sitting here as an island. The customer will use it for three to four days at a time. My own experience with that battery in, in spring conditions in Southern Australia in a white vehicle, it lasted for me one week and half a day. So from Saturday morning to the following Saturday afternoon. And that was a, that was a, it was a great test for this with no supplementary charging whatsoever. In summer, we would expect quite a few days out of a 105 amp hour battery. Any questions, leave it in the comments below. Get in touch with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like more updates on these sorts of products. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the road.